They came all the way from Transia with the Abbey to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the Sons are here today? Fair point. Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore who brought it to the Coven, with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. Mm hmm. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here or somewhere nearby. Right. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. Good hunting, Hunter. Explore the church. Before I forget, let me save because I don't know if me winning the trial was a flaw or it was a fluke. I mean, so just in case, I'm gonna save my progress before I do anything else. Explore the church. Was this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? We just talked about that. This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times. But in this case, she was right to be wary. So what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation, and with their help he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. Hmm. Nothing's coincidence here. If Shaw found a page of the Darkhold, it was because Kuthan wanted it that way. I tend to agree. That cursed book is always seeking out a way to return its master to power. Just like Hocus Pocus. Or maybe not and really. A power hungry preacher makes for the ideal messenger of darkness. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Cathan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem, old and new, were at his threshold, waiting for the word. Looks like you have more to say. Hello, Hunter. Tell me about my father. What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with Cathan. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, 
The usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place, swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion, it puts things in perspective. This is a small pet peeve of mine, so I kind of wish that in in a lot of storytelling and a lot of media, um, I kind of wish that we had more positive um, role model characters um, that happen to be religious or are of a religious vocation. Um, because I think more often than not, they use priests or people of the clergy and things like that they always tend to make them villainous or have them have some sort of like agenda i mean and i get i know that's not always a rule but it just happens often enough that it just kind of is a pet peeve of mine it kind of irks me because there are plenty of perfectly good you know religious people or people of a religious vocation out there um and they just have they just tend to use that as a way to, I don't know, it just feels like, it, it, it just feels like it's um, putting a bad name to people who are in that particular group, myself included, because I, even though I am LGBTQ+, um, I am a, a religious person, um, and it just, it's, it's just, it's just a little bit painful because for years in media, the LGBT, like gay people, tend to be painted in a negative light, or at worst, or uh, at minimum, um, are set out to be the butt of a joke, or like the token gay character. Um, and, but yeah, but, and at worst, of course, they were demonized. Like, oh, th those, you know, pedophilic, pedophilic um, gays. And, and again, to further my point, the pedophilic you know, priests or pastors. Not to say that those things don't happen, and they do. I don't condone that, and I recognize that those things do happen. But it's like saying, you know, um, it's just saying that just because somebody's a priest, that they're bound to, like, want to hunt down, not hunt down, but they're bound to, like, want to be with, you know, pedophilic have pedophilic thoughts which is like totally not true so it's i'm fine that hiram shaw happens to be like this this pastor charlatan and i'm glad that they emphasize that he was a charlatan and not really a true priest but i don't know it's just something that i feel is overused and i'm glad for example that the lgbtq community is being seen in a more positive light um, and are taken more seriously in storytelling, and I kind of would, lo would love to see that more towards people or characters that happen to be religious, or as I said, have a religious vocation. So that's just, I wanted to share that. Is that meant to be an offering bowl on the altar? Another artifact Wanda was toying with but could never make work. I'm curious. Next time you find yourself there, Place something in the bowl oh. and speak an elder god's name. Oh. Perhaps it will work for you now that you have their blessing. Oh. I'll try that. I haven't done that yet. Speak an elder god's name. Something on your mind? Alright. I haven't done that. Well, Until thank you for we the speak hint. Again. An elder god's name. Explore the church. Yeah. Well, there's nothing here that I see. So I guess around the church grounds. Open. Journal of Hiram Shah, January 6, 1694. This must be Shah's study. I was wrong to let my heart linger on the thoughts of Lilith. She and her foul sister are worse than I could have imagined. She has even corrupted a man from my congregation to her cause. These women have more influence than that coven, even without their roots in the village. My congregation size falters. I raise my hands to Cathan nightly, crying out for guidance. It's 
Sometimes the look of the brew is more important to its effects than taste. Fury Tonum. Greater Strength Tonic. Journal of Hiram Shah, April 23rd, 1694. The scroll contains more influence than I... This scroll contains more influence than I initially perceived, for it is not merely power within, but corruption beyond my wildest imaginations. For each mark upon the land, the page could have been traced to its location, aligned to a person of power who handled fragments of the blasphemous tome. I have come to believe that the dark and destructive events that plague this land are not the chronological rhythms fate has set in motion, but the dark holds sway. Open sesame. Noble Oster guides my hand. Whoa. Hunter's Journal, December 15, 1711. The cold depths of winter challenge us all. I am grateful for Agatha and her control of the elements, especially fire, in these dark days. It is hard to believe that even with the threat of Lilith looming, that cold and hunger can draw up so much of our energy. Agatha brings me to her altar to train now, and says that by the end of the winter, I will also be a master of the elements. I look forward to that day, if only to leave the snow behind us. Yeah! Give me something good! Give me some- Ooh, with the angels! Epic palette! Rare- Ooh! Give me something good! Give me something good! Let me take a look. I hope it's something cool. Um, so it's like, uh, okay, it's like, all right, all right, that's okay. Wings? Oh. Can I change the color of it? I'm presuming I can change the color of it. No? Really? I'm surprised I can't change the color of this. Okay. Okay, how do I get rid of it now? Lower face prop? Head prop, none. Lower face prop, none. Whole face prop. Oh, I can change it. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, I can change it. Combat outfit. Master of the Hunt. Come on. With the angels. Okay, that's cool. Something that's like all white. And that one's red. Okay, that's fine. Um, I still like the high-tech one. And then... head Whole head prop. Moon. Oh! Ooh, I like that one too. Full face prop, iridium, capital, roar, force, intimidator. I'm not a big fan of roar. I don't like, I have too handsome of a face. Upper face prop. Okay, so. Face prop, silk. Yeah, I, I, I like to not... I, I want to be able to have conversations with people without something on my face, if possible. Okay. Um, moon. I'm buying this. That one's cool. Um... I like the orange. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I 
like the moon. Whole face prop, head prop, and lower face prop. I do need something that's more orange. I wish I could make my outfit my outfit more orange. How do I add another color to the Can I get more colors? I'm sure I can get more colors. Requires armory room upgrade. Oh, to get better weapons. Alright, I mean, it's cool and all, but... I'm just gonna add orange hi highlights. And then this one. That looks a little better. Alright, a little better. It looks kind of weird, because I've got, like, the mystic and the tech thing going on, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it for right now. I do admit the color scheme doesn't quite fit. It does clash a bit, but I just want to wear it. The Hierophant, Professor X, channels his power to raise the knowledge necessary to be shared with his pupil. He holds pupils. He holds in his hands the key to understanding. This card represents guidance and wisdom from a teacher. Okay. Journal of Hiram Shah, August 2, 1694. It pains me to set these words to page, for my cause is righteous. Any admittance of weakness I find unfathomable. But I must tread with the utmost care. The ants, the whispering specters intensify, testing my will at every turn. This page I have come to realize that it, it is responsible for the corruption of not only the souls of man, but the destruction of entire civilizations throughout history. Today is the people of Salem that suffer. More moonflowers. Okay, let's see what's going on out here. This war is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked mm. to protect Doctor Strange's we, sanctum? We need Wanda. Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Yeah. This does definitely look like a Wanda thing. Never a dull moment. Did Wanda ever make it to this place? I suspect she did. But if she discovered something, she didn't tell me. Okay. Goodbye. For now. All right. I think I did everything I needed to from back here. Let's explore a little bit. The weeders. Nice. Open sesame. Arachnid sigil. Okay. Wanda's journal, April 4th, 2020. Well, that actually answers this that question. She definitely was here. What a strange place this is. So much terrible history and so much corruption. But the energy here draws me in. Maybe it longs to be cleansed of the evil of Hiram Shah. After all, this was one, once a place of peace and community before, before everything. I found a page of a journal from back then, written by Shaw himself. I almost thought the page could have some kind of bad energy, but it was just a piece of paper in the end. Although it's made me wonder about what I know to be true around here. I trust Caretaker and Agatha completely, but I'm starting to think that I don't know as much as they've let me to let me to believe. Okay. Very interesting. And then there's a cr no crack, no crack in the wall here. All right. The glorification of the Royal Hungarian Saints. I think 
I can do this now. Could have sworn there was another. Nice. The common chests no longer require an arcane key. Heck yeah. I thought there was another. Um, there was another bridge. Was there another one? Or am I just. Am I seeing things? Could have sworn there was one here too. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to do as well. He sees our path. Glad I checked. Cause I know there was another one. Ooh, lots of moonflowers. That's what I'm talking about. Every single place that I unlock. Gives me new reagents. Suspected witch, Margaret Adams. Interrogation record. Suspended in an iron cage for several weeks. The unnatural longevity of the suspect revealed her true nature. Mm. Makes me sick. The foggy glade. Okay. Celestial Brewing. Major attack essence and an epic gift. Ooh. Ooh, I want to get an epic gift. Epic gift recipe book. Heck yeah. Autumn be praised. Nice. I'll take that even wherever that thing is back there. Common chest, don't need any keys. Wall frame C, focusing lens. So I to hear it a taunt for free. Nice. Another. Ooh, the Empress. The Empress. Storm channels nature's power and elements, harnessing a frightful storm with little effort. This card represents pleasure and prosperity, and a strong natural influence. Again, yeah, Storm is definitely a very natural influence. I agree. This is a graveyard, and I think I think I know for what what the graveyard is used for. I think. If it was here, Autumn would show me. Interesting. Autumn must not see it that way. Interesting. That didn't. I did notice there was no symbol there. So, deadly nightshades. That's new. Oster smiles upon me. Okay, awesome. So let's continue this way. Actually, wait, let me make sure I go and explore this area first before I go to Agatha's cottage. I know I was going to say I was going to wait to explore more um, in the light, but I'm already here. So, Everflowing Glade. Hmm. Agatha, what is this? The corrupted influence of the Elder God Cthon. But we won't be able to heal the Abbey Grounds until we've recovered the Moon Seal. Stolen by Hiram Shaw. I I'm still looking for that one. Remind me about the seal? I think you've gotten ahead of yourself, dear. You'll need to find the moon seal first. A trial awaits you. Yeah. But we also have a haven here. Hunter's Journal. It feels almost as if Sarah and Agatha are running short of challenges to throw in my direction. Have I truly changed so much that my power can no longer be sat satiated by these two spellcasters? No longer do I fear the darkness within me, or the light. 
I have conquered them both and embrace the many facets of my being, darkness and light, blood and human. Hmm. March 21st, 1711. The Foggy Passage. Deadly Nightshade. All right, so this is another trial for Reflecting Pool. So many places. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to this momentarily. There's just so many. Oh man, I am going all over this map now. Deadly Nightshade. Wanda's journal. I have made a terrible mistake. My powers are growing stronger and I'm losing control. But that isn't the worst of it. I went to the reflecting pool today to try to search for guidance, but Kathan, he heard me. And I felt I felt a strange connection to him. I broke away as fast as I could, but it was like his powers channeled through me, and the ground grew cold and blackened beneath my feet. I thought that I could use what I've channeled from Hippus to push back, but I am so so tired. Hmm. Ooh, almost missed it. Another arcane key, maybe? Yeah. So hopefully I'll run into more arcane chests. Doll's eyes, that's new. Oh, cool. Tarot card, the Emperor. T'Challa. Oh, Chadwick Boseman. How we miss you, Chadwick Boseman. We all miss you. T'Challa stands guard before the different regions he battled for the title of Black Panther. This card represents ambition and leadership and a protection over one's home. He is our king. Be careful where you brew these potions. They will stink up your entire house. Major skill essence and a vial of shadows. An epic recipe book. Ooh, another one of these. I've been looking for these. So I need one more after this. One more. If I remember Excellent. correctly, this is the grave of Will Walker. A notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. Blade would have oh. I would hope so. I would hope so. Dryad Saddles, and another Cracked Wall. Doll's Eyes. That sounds creepy AF. Okay. Everflowing Glade, there's a bridge there which I will get to momentarily. First, I want to. Yeah, but first, I want to get to Agatha's cottage first. Because I ran into that first. So many places! Oof. Agatha's cottage. Ooh, it's a Christmas tree, or a Wondagore Ever Blossoms. Three of them. Nice. Oh! Can I, I don't think I can do anything here. There's, that's gotta be used for something. 